Opportunity for Charlton from this set piece. Paul Koncheski will deliver the free kick towards Richard Rufus. Just wide of the mark. And that's an excellent early chance, and the Charlton captain knows it. Well, the free kick caused Southampton all sorts of problems. And Rufus stole in goal side and just couldn't hit the target. Flag was up anyway, and it wouldn't count for Richard Rufus. It's played towards Marsden, away by Young. Bart Williams partly clears, but the danger's not away. Here's Wayne Bridge. Bart Williams again. That's Marion Pahars. And one of Southampton's better scoring opportunities fell to Pahars. And Charlton just couldn't clear the danger zone. Bart Williams partly away, and Pahars couldn't hit the target. Williams, and that's rather careless. Koncheski could well profit. It's Paul Koncheski towards Johansson, stretching all the time. Encouraging, though, for Charlton and their manager, Alan Kerbishley. Southampton free kick, and they five forward inside that area. Bridget is, and away by Bart Williams, providing the defensive duties this time round for Charlton so testing times for the visitors who'll have to defend another set piece Fabrice Fernandes will prepare to take this corner kick for Southampton it's Tessum and Powell off the line Tessum thought he'd done enough and the Southampton striker is denied. Can't quite believe it, Joe Tesson. Connected with that almost perfectly. Carly across and Powell, wonderful defending off the line. Just looked to be a goal until a dramatic intervention from Chris Powell. There's a man who'll have uh, plenty to say, I'm sure, during the half-time interval. Alan Kerbishley. Rehearsing his half-time speech. Kylie then to launch it forward. The target Yule and Williams was climbing all over Jason Yule. Maybe a Charlton free kick to stop its time and maybe just one final opportunity in the dying minutes. There's Niemi on his Southampton debut. Sort of range where Klaus Jensen might fancy his chances. And indeed it is Jensen. And the Amy gets across and the Debutin responds splendidly. Well, he hit it well, Klaus Jensen. And the Amy did enough. Alan Kerbishley taking his seat for the second half alongside uh, his assistant, Keith Peacock. There's Gordon Strachan, never one for the quiet life. Prowling that touchline is Strachan. Fernandes, Powell tracking back for Charlton. That's nicely done. Paul Telfer with a cross. Away by Rufus. Here's Rory to lap. Marsden, Pahars. Should have done better, Marion Pahars. Presented with an opportunity from which he might have scored. Marsden with a neat flick on, and it's turning into one of those frustrating afternoons for the Southampton striker. You're for Charlton. Now Chris Powell. And support from Koncheski. Rule again. There's Bart Williams. And into Koncheski. In on goal, Paul Koncheski. And Lundertfan came across. 
And that was an all-important block. Did well there. Just stopped his path to goal. Away by Telfer. It's Bahaz. Trying to shake off the attentions of Rufus. Fernandez, Southampton with players forward. This is Chris Marston. Tessum is there. Oh, Spencer was there as well. And it eluded both of them. Spencer on that back post. Tessum well positioned. And Marsden's cross beyond both. It's very sloppy indeed. You're getting the better of Williams there. Forward by Bartlett. Lundek van away. It's Bart Williams. And it's Niemi with a save. He's enjoying a good debut. There's the Southampton keeper. As Lundek van cleared it, Bart Williams took it down well and hit it with pace and power. And the Southampton keeper again doing enough. John Robinson will play no further part in this second half. He's withdrawn from the fray, and it's to be Kevin Lisby who's coming on. He, of course, started against Arsenal last weekend. Luke Young towards Lisby. Up against Wayne Bridge. Good confrontation this, and Lisby's got the better of the England defender. And that is a free kick. No doubt about that. You have to tread carefully in this what final minute. Wayne Bridge has already been booked. Just a quick word. The Southampton defender. And Charlton could yet steal it right at the death. A chance to maintain what has been an excellent away record of the Premiership. Responsibility with. Klaus Jensen to make the most of the free kick. It's Jensen who's going to take it. So are we to have a dramatic finale after all? Jensen then for Charlton. Lisby free header. In the game with a save. He's made a succession of vital saves on the Southampton debut, but Kevin Lisby could have been the match winner there. He had time. Downward header. Jensen's free kick. And Niemi with the last save, surely, of this game. That's it. The final whistle at St Mary's, a chorus of boos, but for Alan Kerbishley and Charlton, that's an important away point. Klaus Jensen presented with one of their better goal scoring opportunities, but a debut to remember for Niemi in that Southampton goal. Nil nil. <laughs>
leading 2-1, we should have got something that game. And then, in all fairness, we've played two very good sides on the night. Uh, Spurs played ever so well and beat us 1-0 and find themselves in the top, top six. And then Arsenal came last week and did do well. You know, it was a very difficult game for us, but you know, it gets a little bit better. You know, we've got Man United next week. Nice, simple one. Yeah, no home game. Thanks very much indeed. Thank you. Thanks, Alan. Well, Chris, a hard-earned point for Charlton. You deserved it, yes? Yes, I thought so. Um, it was a tough game. It always is when you play against Southampton. Um, very, well, we didn't create as many chances as we wanted to, but then again, nor did Southampton, so it was a fair score. Mind you, you could have come up with a winning goal yourself near the end. Good save to keep your shot out. Yeah, it was a good save by the keeper. Um, all you can do then is just hit the target, and I've hit the target, and it's a great save. What about uh, Charlton overall? Um, you seem to be doing better on the road than you are at home. Yeah, we're not quite got home form right, um, but our fans have been patient with us at home. But it's now time to uh, pick up the point which you did today so we can move from here. I mean, you joined Charlton originally last season, now you've signed a, a long term contract. Happy at the Valley? Definitely. Um, it's been excellent, really enjoyable. Um, looking to build on a positive future, really. And happy with your own form in midfield? Um, it can always get better, that's what I would say to that. <laughs> um, but as long as I get an opportunity to show what I can do, then I'll take that chance. Great, nice talking to you. Thank Thanks you so much.